I'm Father Bob Stokig, the rector of the Guardian Angel Cathedral in Las Vegas, Nevada, coming to you with another one of our weekly reflections on the Sunday readings, this for the last Sunday of January 2021. We hope you're keeping well in the midst of this unusual time in all of our lives, and we hope that these reflections are of use to you. We encourage you to subscribe to our channel and if you find these reflections helpful to let others know about them. In the midst of this pandemic, it's the best way we have to continue to reach out beyond the walls of the cathedral. We're still early in the gospel according to St. Mark and as was the custom in Jesus' time, he stood up in the synagogue to teach and the people were amazed. To use a Britishism, maybe even gobsmacked, because he spoke so differently than the typical Sabbath sermon. He spoke as one, the gospel says, having authority. In the midst of that encounter, we also then see how recognition starts to unfold in the gospel according to St. Mark. It's not in Mark's telling of the story that the disciples fully understand and recognize who Jesus is first. Instead, it is the demons he cast out who are the first to say, what have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? When we think about what those forces inside and around us that give us different voices to follow, different from Christ's. We know we live in an age where our social isolation, the way in which we do or don't use social media, the amount of news we consume on any given day, all of those forces put pressure on us and it's ironic, perhaps, that the first line of the second reading this week has Paul telling us, I want you to live with no anxieties. Maybe when you heard that, as you read or listened to a streaming version of the Mass, you thought, yeah, wouldn't that be nice? But in another real sense, as we couple that with the Gospel, we see that Jesus is the one with authority. Jesus is the one who drives out those forces that are destructive to our lives. The question is, do we listen to that voice above all the others? Do we give in to the pressures of our own anxieties? Or do we continue to seek ways in which to find the one who speaks with authority? We hope you're doing well in these unusual times and want you to know that you continue to be in the prayers of everyone here at Guardian Angel Cathedral. As we journey together, we ask you to continue to keep us in your prayers as well until the day comes when in fact we can live as Paul hopes, as people with no anxiety because our faith is planted firmly in the one who speaks with authority Jesus, the only Son of God.